get some. What's up, guys? I got a. I've had this for a while. <clears throat> uh, I'd always wanted a Bob Fionda uh, custom. I always felt like that was the one thing that was missing from my uh, collection. But uh, anyway, that's his maker's mark there. And he sent that to me from Italy. I've never shot it because I've been too scared. These are pretty hard to come by. I'm sure most of y'all are familiar with Bob. Anyway, before I put it on display, I wanted to take a couple shots with it. Just so, you know, you don't want to say you never shot it. But anyway, this is uh, Osage. Actually, I sent Bob a bunch of Osage to Italy out of my field. And... Uh, he wanted, he said he'd never worked with it before. And so for me sending him a big box of wood, he sent me half of his Romeo and Juliet series. So, take a couple shots with it. It shoots like a dream. Maybe the only time I ever shoot it because uh, I can't imagine being fortunate enough to have two Bob Fiondas in a lifetime. He is, uh, thank you. And, uh, you know, he's very, a very sought after maker there in Italy. And I was so proud to have some of his work. I don't feel like a collection is. Uh, I don't feel like a collection is complete without Bob's work. And they're pretty hard to come by. <clears throat> and uh, I'm sure proud of this one. It's going to go in the center of my display in the house on the slingshot wall. I'm sure uh, I doubt it'll ever be shot again. But I didn't want to put it up there and not say it had never been uh, shot. Thanks, Darren. How you doing today, bud? Hope you and your family is doing well. But uh, I haven't seen many people shoot uh, Bob slingshots because they're so, you know, to me they're priceless. And uh, I'm sure to y'all they are too. You know, everybody has something they treasure. But uh, I usually use most of my shooting with either the Axiom Champ that uh, from Nathan... Or uh, I got this cottonwood slingshot that Ray shot, Ray Bazonski. He sent me, I like, this is my go-to. Either, it always goes back to something simple, you know, for me. It always goes back to something simple. Because you always just practice on the basics, you know. But this is, uh, these two are my favorite everyday shooters. They, uh... I think Ray designed both of these. Ray designed this one too for Nathan, I believe, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I'm gonna take a couple shots, just kind of piddling around. Might as well.
Yeah, this, I think it's the only cottonwood shooter. I might have one other one, but <clears throat> you don't see many cottonwood either. I sure when Ray when Ray made this a year or two ago, I I emailed him and said, "Man, I gotta have that." I can't remember. I it was it placed in the slingshot of the month on the slingshot form, but I don't remember what place it was. Let's see if I can cut this card right quick while oh, we're just goofing around. I don't know if y'all can see that card. Let's see if I can. See if I can cut. I'm gonna shoot this one. Axiom Champ. I guess it's a cut card. There it is. Clean cut. Just goofing around. Uh, here I can cut the what's left of it. <laughs> Put it up on the side. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Thank you. I didn't get to see who wrote that. It said nice something. This thing disappeared pretty quick. <clears throat> I sure liked it watching all y'all's videos. I like... Uh, of course, everybody likes Darren's videos, you know. Oh, thanks, Darren. And uh, Mike Bean Flips videos and all them guys across the seas over there. Oh, Donk and Asa and Keith Dighton and Joffrey and shoot all them guys. I love their videos. Them guys are, are about half crazy and silly anyway. They're sure entertaining. Uh I, I sure like watching all y'all's videos, and old Jeff K, his videos are always good, but <clears throat> we got so much stuff going on here, I haven't really had time to really get on the internet much this summer. I sure miss getting on there every day, but summertime, and all the cows and the hay, and you know, everything that got to get done, plus having eight kids, you know, it's hard to, hard to find, to find time to, to get on and make videos, and I seen where Mike had put on some kind of a a uh, contest earlier this past weekend. I sure wish I could have could have got on that. And uh, it's hard to find the time, but hopefully now that things are starting to slow down a little bit, maybe I can get on here and get caught up on everything. But uh, thanks guys for watching. Just wanted to post something for y'all because I sure enjoy watching y'all's. Uh, Darren, I hope you and your wife are doing good. I sure enjoyed that Back to the Future video <laughs> you guys are something else i sure get a lot of entertainment out of that it sure makes the evenings a lot fun around here and uh <laughs> yeah it's full-time job it is we got uh oh i don't know how many cattle we got we got about 50 head of mamas so you know plus you know babies for about 80 percent of them and a few bulls and and uh we got a quarter section here that uh, you know we keep up, and then we've got about oh I'd say we got uh, about 600 acres we farm, which ain't much, you know that ain't much compared to a lot of people, but it's enough to keep two people busy, and uh, you know and I work full time too. Uh, got to have insurance on the babies, but uh, anyway I hope you guys enjoy your week, and uh, if I get time I'll post another one. Thank y'all for watching. I sure appreciate y'all. Swipe down to stop.